My favorite thing to tell patients in relation to immunotherapy is that there's a whole host of options available now. Um, you don't have to be in the fittest shape of your life. You don't need to be young and you know, muscular to be able to withstand it. Immunotherapy for melanoma is quite exciting uh, moving into 2017. Uh, we've had tremendous success in increasing the bar, first with ipilimumab, then with anti-PD-1 antibodies with nivolumab and pembrolizumab, more recently with the combination. So as we move into 2017, I think uh, building on that success will be even uh, further exciting. So from a standard practice perspective, I think that we'll be trying to find the nuance about using the combination of ipilimumab and nivolumab um, in the context of the right patients in terms of the side effect profile file, which can be quite substantial, um, as well as thinking about uh, upcoming uh, readouts from adjuvant clinical trials, in other words, the use of immunotherapy after surgery. And so some of that data is expected to be presented at ASCO this year.